The only thing I would have needed was someone to go, it's a pretty shit Russian accent, and go, oh, great, I'm gonna right. hate this, I'm not doing the movie. Did you get the invitation to my party? I stole it. So you're a thief. I hope you wear a mask. Sometimes. Just never when I'm stealing things. New film The Man from Uncle is set in the 1960s, and the movie expertly captures all of the style and fashion that made that era so memorable. We cannot not talk about the costumes in this film because it made me want to just like ditch my entire wardrobe and just eBay 60s vintage. <laughs> Can you talk about working with the costume designer and what kind of these clothes added to the roles for each of you? Victoria, because she's so extremely wealthy and she's the villain. I think we felt like we didn't have any limits and she's also an antiquities dealer so we felt like we could combine all those elements and sort of give her silhouettes that are m maybe not usual 60s silhouettes, something sure. slightly sort of Cleopatra-esque or you know Grecian, very statuesque, um, but then the kind of villain elements of, you know, there's like scorpion jewelry and python right. skin and, you know, when she drives in her E-type, she's got this great <laughs> sort of 60s headscarf and it's, for me, it was just sort of like, I mean, you I was like a kid in a candy love shop. the villain. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. But then you kind of yeah. offer like the more mod side of 60s. Yeah. Exactly. I think, and, and my, 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 the, my character Gabby also goes on the journey of she's a car mechanic and much more of a town boy, really. And you know, when we see her in the beginning of the film, she's in a which is one of my favorite outfits, actually, very cool and nice, good looking boiler suit. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, she's not really comfortable in all that dressing up. Maybe actually the, the guys are more excited about dressing her. <laughs> so this movie had to have been pretty athletic for both of you. There are fist fights and car chases. What was the biggest challenge? I would say it was the underwater stuff. It's, yeah. um, it was a bit of distance, had to be swam, and then uh, on the way up, it's still some distance, and uh, it just involved lots of breath holds, and that takes some getting used to. Absolutely, and you're both in that scenes. Did you mm. have another one that you thought was especially difficult? Especially difficult? Uh, not, you know, not really. There wasn't anything that was like, I can't do this. I, no, I really can't do it. Guys, you're, you're asking too much. I can't do it because they were they were really safe with us and they were yeah. careful. They knew we had the rest of the movie to shoot. So anything that looked too crazy probably wasn't us. There's a scene in the in the film where you slap Army's character twice, I might add. Um, Is and it I twice? Heard, I yes, remember. it's twice. It's at least twice, maybe three times. Um, well, I, I wrote them that. down to the floor. I don't know. You do. I heard that wasn't scripted, though. No, I, I, you know, like, this is a lot of the scenes in this film, this is how he works. It was a very good and solid script, but Guy is so collaborative. And he very often also came up and, like, give little notes and, like, <laughs> just do this or do that. And then you, he would change the entire scene and you get something very fluid and organic, something new happening. And that actually already happened in a rehearsal where okay. we kind of set the, and we blocked the scene. He was like, just slap him. <laughs> and I was like, no, I can't. You have to. So you just sprung it on him. He wasn't expecting it at all. No, but you know, it, uh, <laughs> no. The first time, I think that then, of course, he saw it coming and were prepared Don't. for it. But <laughs> Army, did you test out your Russian accent on any friends or family while you were preparing? For no, them? I was way too embarrassed. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You didn't like, you know, maybe test it out at the grocery store just to see how people. Reacted. Oh, definitely not. Because <laughs> the only thing I would have needed was someone to go. It's pretty. Sh Russian accent and go, oh, great, I'm gonna right. hate this, I'm not doing the movie. Then all the self-doubt would yeah. creep in. Yeah, and then I'd be done for. Yeah, did you get any notes from your fellow actor here on your American accent? Well, the accent's so affected anyway, no one sounds like that anymore, right. that it would be kind of pointless. It's like, how do I sound like the Napoleon? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you wanna do it a little bit like this and just kinda say the yeah. shit, man? I mean, that is one American accent, yeah, for sure. right? Yeah. yeah. We um, have a myriad. The would be a very different <laughs> yeah. character if he sounded like that. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about the cars in this movie and what it was like for you guys to... I imagine you got to really drive them for the most part. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we drove some of them. addressing vehicles. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get to drive like a 275 Ferrari or anything sure. like that. Sure. Exactly. You, you drove the... Did you drive the Wartsburg thing? Uh, I drove that little bread van thing. The bread van. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we both drove the bread yeah. van. Um, that's not the chicest car in the no, film. No, it's not. But it was a Citroen, though. It was French. Okay. So that's kind of cool. That kind of yeah. counts. Were either of you familiar with the TV show? Because I do feel like, you know, for people of our generation, they might not know it so well, but this movie mm -hmm. can really kind of stand on its own. There's a TV show? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What TV show? So I've heard. Like about this? Uncle? Yeah. Crazy, Wait, right? Wait, they've already made a TV show about this? The movie's not even Why are we making a movie about that? <laughs> uh, uh, uh,
Aquaman. The Man from Uncle hits theaters on August 14th.